This is the first part of the guided tour of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. We are fortunate enough to find an English speaking guide for our guided tour. This part is an overview of the shrine, its history and the first church which was built in 1532, that's about 500 years ago. I try to keep the original recording and the voice of the guide as much as possible. Since it can be difficult to hear the original voice at times because of the high winds here, please make sure to turn subtitles on. You can select the language of your choice for the subtitles. This is one of the entrance of the Our Lady of Guadalupe Shrine in the capital city of Mexico, the Mexico City. There are multiple entrances and exits here. Entrada means entrance and salida means exit in Spanish. There are armed security personnel standing at each of the entrances. This is a huge yard in front of all the seven churches here. Let us see this around quickly. There is a red roof church here and a golden color roof one here. This circular building is a new church which was built in 1976. The Basilica of Guadalupe is one of the most visited Catholic shrines in the world and it is the National Shrine of Mexico. This is considered the second important Catholic shrine after Vatican City. We have here seven churches. We'll count them. There's one over there, two the white one, uh -huh. three, four, five, six, and seven. Every one of them are for a Virgin of Guadalupe, okay? It's one virgin, but in this case, the advocation is Guadalupe in Mexico, okay? Everything was full of water. You need uh, some story about Mexico City. Mexico City was this island only oh, okay, okay. about 20 square kilometers only Tenochtitlan mm. when the Spanish came they destroyed everything and they built a city a big city now we have a monster of city okay mm -hmm. this is only the island we had this is a, a photograph from 1950 this is that church this one was not here Mexico City is sinking uh -huh. uh, uh, almost 10 centimeters every year oh. Juan Diego was an indigenous who was living in Tintetlac and crossing the hill to go to Tlatelolco to hear the voice of Christ please I need a house in here go with the bishop and tell him what I want. He went twice and the bishop didn't believe him. So he came again, found the hill and told the girl, I'm sorry mother, but the bishop was not How can I do? She told him, don't worry, go to your home and tomorrow when you cross this hill, as soon as he arrived at his home, his uncle was very sick. Very, very sick, almost died. So the next day, he didn't want to cross the hill. He went around trying to hide himself in the bird. But in that time, appeared the bird and told him, What are you doing here? He said, My uncle is very sick and the bishop doesn't believe me. And then she told him that phrase Am I not here? Your mother, I'm your mother. Your uncle is sick, don't worry. Go to the climb the hill, you will find roses. Cut them and bring them to me. This is going to be the proof for the, the issue. Climb the hill, found the roses, beautiful roses from Castilla. He cut them, put them in his tilma or ayare. He went down, the virgin blessed them and told him, now, go with the bishop. As soon as he arrived with the bishop, he asked for the proof, he threw the roses, and God stamped the Virgin of Guadalupe. This church is from 1974. Remember the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that uh, uh, painting was in this one from 1709 okay. until 1974. 
56 but we pass it from this one to this one okay. we have here the square of Juan Diego Juan Diego is drawing the flowers with the bishop the bishop of the Virgin of Guadalupe Silva okay mm -hmm. and the row of Juan Diego okay the roses. Oh, okay. Virgin Mary appeared to Juan Diego in 1527. The first church was built in 1531. At that time, it was a tiny building with just a pulpit. This new church has the ruins of the first church. This plaque says that Juan Diego lived here for the last 17 years of his life. Oh. Oh. Why it was indigenous were polytheist idolatry people, okay? They believe in Wishilopostli, Tlaloc, Xochipilli, everyone, not on the Virgin of Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. That's why it was very small. Okay? Yeah, this one, right? This one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We are entering into the first church now. There is a statue of St. Francis Assisi on the right side. Behind that is Juan Diego. We can see the image of Virgin Mary on his vest. It depicts how he was appeared in front of the bishop with Virgin Mary's image stamped on his vest where he kept his horses as per the instructions from Mother Mary. In the right side door where people are coming out is where the first church was, which was built in 1531. The birthplace for the sacramental west. This is only a copy. That plaque over there says this place was the sacred mantle. It was very small. Mm -hmm. In 1556, mm -hmm. the second bishop, mm -hmm. Alonso de Montufer, uh, made it bigger. Mm -hmm. The small big, like this one. This one, okay. this one was until 1649. Mm -hmm. oh. This one. Mm -hmm. This one. 1649. Uh -huh. 1527, right? 1531. 1531. Okay. Or there's the Juan Diego lived here, keeping the mantle inside. Uh -huh. This is the first place. It's an error that uh, people say that it was on the top of the hill. No. That was built in 1749. Ah, okay. 200 years after the apparition. Look, this is now a baptismal, baptized. Oh. But was for the hearts of sacrificed people before the Spanish came. When they came, saw this and said, Oh my God, they put it water and converted it to baptized. Yeah, the Baptist, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. People say that one meal is buried here, but we haven't found his body. So, okay. so we don't appear. Okay. okay. He went, his name was Claudia Tretzin, the man who speaks what you need to. Make? Claudia Tretzin, the man who speaks or talks like an eagle. Juan Diego was his Christian name. Saint, because he's saint from July 31st, 2002. Oh, yeah. This is the, the, the way that was stamped the Virgin of Guadalupe. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is so only a representation. And he was an indigenous. Yeah. Wow, oh, okay. Indigenous. Okay. Indigenous until then. He was. He made the original people not right. Yeah. Very old. Yeah. People think. It's, it was very, very junk, but it, yeah. it had 57 years the day the Virgin appeared to him. Mm -hmm. All 57 oh, years? 57. No, when he was, he was 57. When he died, he was 57. No. Until 74. Seven. Until 74. 74 years, okay. Yeah. When they uh, wanted with a, with a leg or something. Yeah. They pray here. Cure some illness, and, uh, right? If, if they people think mm -hmm. was a miracle, they bring this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heart, mm -hmm. some legs, oh, because of the way. Yeah. Okay. No, once the way, they were cured, they were sick. 
Uh-huh. Over there you ask? Yeah, you give, here you. Uh, yeah. The offering. Yeah. Right, right. This is called ex voto, ex voto, or a small miracle. Okay, uh, small miracle. Uh -huh.